This, the peach is all ready to go, and now I'm gonna make the batter. So I've already beaten a quarter of a pound of butter, room temperature, and a cup of sugar, and now I'm just gonna add the eggs. And these eggs are from the local farm. Aren't they just amazing? Look how gorgeous that beautiful egg is. So, I need two eggs. Always crack them into a bowl. Oh, look how gorgeous that is. Dark yellow, I wonder what this one is. Look at that, you can tell when an egg is really fresh, the yolk really stands up. So I'm gonna put it into the batter one at a time. I'm gonna let it mix in completely. We'll get all the egg. Just make sure that's nicely mixed in. Next is a cup of sour cream, which is eight ounces, it's the whole container. Just put it right in. Make sure it's nice and rich and delicious. Turn it down a little bit. One teaspoon of good vanilla. Yeah. Okay, next the dry ingredients. Two cups of flour. Remember with baking, it's really important to measure correctly. There's no point in making something if it's not gonna come out right. So just lighten the flour and then just carefully level it off with your finger. Perfect. One teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of baking soda. And just a half a teaspoon of salt. Just sift it all together. I don't know, there's nothing like the smell of warm peach cake in the house. It makes everybody happy. Okay, with the mixer on low, just gonna slowly add it to the batter on very low speed. Perfect. Okay, that's the batter. Now I'm gonna make layers of peaches, cinnamon sugar, and batter. This is gonna be good. So first I need the cinnamon sugar. Half a cup of sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Mm, I love peaches and cinnamon, a great combination. Just stir them together. Mm, smells so good. So, I've got a nine inch pan that I've greased and floured, and it's just gonna be layers, I'll show you. So I'm gonna pour half the batter on the bottom of the pan. It's a very thick batter, which is good. It'll look thin, you'll be surprised how much this cake is gonna rise, because remember we put a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda in it. Okay, next, I'm gonna do half the peaches, and two-thirds of the cinnamon sugar. So just line the peaches up right on top of the batter. I mean, how good does this look? It's a really simple cake, but it's got so much flavor. Okay, and then two-thirds of the cinnamon sugar, just right on top of the peaches. And next, the rest of the batter right on top. And just spread this out with a knife. Just cover the peaches, thin layer. Just want to make sure they're all covered. Now I'm going to cover it with the last layer of peaches. I'm going to do three rows of six. Okay, perfect. And then the rest of the cinnamon and sugar. And then the last thing is I put some pecans on top, about a half a cup, just rough chop, and just sprinkle them on the top. Oops, gorgeous. Okay, into the oven, 350 degrees for 45 to 55 minutes until a cake tester comes out clean. This is gonna be so delicious. It's cooled and it just smells incredible. I use fresh peaches and fresh local eggs. So, I'm writing an article about it, I have to take a picture. Perfect, that looks good.